even cracked a few insignificant jokes about the donuts of the day to everyone around the joint and finally invited Roger to go to the hotel to take care of our business. The guy who was working at the hotel's reception desk spoke very little French, so my client, my soon-to-be client, Roger, typical Quebecer, started to take himself very seriously and show off with his broken English, like, we like a siesta, please. The guy at the reception desk probably saw a few dozen tacky French whores with their corny French tricks every day. So he took Roger's 20 bucks and threw the key for room 41 at our faces without ever removing his eyes from his 14-inch color TV. Roger and I, we took this old and tired stairway uh, that was going to lead us to the room uh, 41. It was old and tired and making all these creepy sound as we were walking like quick as if we were in a haunted house now that's when I got spooks and I started to to tell myself all kinds of horror stories in my head I started to think that probably this whole hotel was uh, hunted by uh, at least a good half dozen whores who must have been murdered after being raped in the most summer corners of the building. And I started to think that all these creaking sounds were maybe their desperate attempt at warning me that my new client, my soon-to-be client, my, my soon-to-be new client, Roger, was probably a total psychopathic killer about to cut me into pieces. <sighs> but we made it to the room safely. <laughs> Right when we walk in there, Roger immediately shut the window, closed the curtain, and started to inspect the bed sheet. Now, I got the impression he'd been there before and gotten crabs. <laughs> <laughs> he took off his pants, he took off his underwear, he kept his socks on, of course, and he laid on his back, with his dick hanging on the side like this. Now, his dick was very, very soft. He had a super soggy dick, and it was so white, it looked like there was no more blood circulation in there. <laughs> But I always think that I can resuscitate any dead dick anytime. <laughs> so I jump on top of him with my legs spread on each of his side and started to rub my ass and my balls against his. Well, that didn't seem to impress him much. So I got out all my tricks of the trade, rub by here, rub by there, lick by here, lick by there. Nothing moved, like his dick still felt like a banana that had been left in a hot summer sun for two weeks. <laughs> Now, that's when I really started to doubt my skills. And this is also when Roger got out of his shirt's pocket a little bag, a little sandwich kitchen catcher glad bag filled with Johnson & Johnson Q-tips. Woo! I thought, my new client Roger is chic and obviously by his only brand names. <laughs> he gave me a Q-tip and he said, I'm not big on the usual thing, can you just tickle my ears with it? Well, I was a little surprised, but I'm very appreciative of a client who knows what gets him off. And besides, I was now a professional, so I proceeded gently as I remembered my mother's warnings about bursting eardrums with Q-tips when cleaning ears. Now, I'm a very fast learner when it comes down to sex, so I immediately understood what was going on with Roger, as opposed to most of us who have lost total contact with the full sexual and sensual potential of most of our bodies. Roger had preserved his infant but precious ability to get up by getting his ears stimulated. Now, I didn't think that his sexuality was a form of regression into earlier childhood stages of sensuality. I just thought that Roger was a very, very special man and I decided he was going to get it for his full 60 bucks. So I immediately improvised a very artistic, powerful choreography of precise caresses all around his ears. And that lasted for at least a good hour. And it culminated in a rough and tough part in which he screamed and screamed, deeper, deeper, fuck them, fuck them, baby, check them, deeper, faster! I was fascinated. As I finally watched him come, and unload a good one-fourth cup of thick, warm cum. And all of that without never having either of us touch his dick. Now, 
Roger left immediately the room after coming. That's typical. And um, and but he had this look on his face, and this peaceful and satisfied look, which is characteristic of my clients after I give them access to a piece of myself. <laughs> As far as I was concerned, I was a little trembling and a little shaken because I was trying to process, of course, and I was also trying to assess the significance of everything that had just happened. I went to the sink uh, to wash my hands, and that's when I got the spooks again. I just felt like some people were watching me there. I looked up in the mirror, and standing right behind me was a row of six French whore ghosts. And let me tell you that the six French whore ghosts did not look like they were in a good mood. I just wanted to scream, I just wanted to run, but I was paralyzed and as I was about to collapse, one of them, obviously their leader, said, girl, a fetish session is worth at least double of what you charge tonight. You're undercutting everyone around here. <laughs> and all of a sudden, all these French whore ghosts started to talk and talk and talk and talk and all at the same time about how they were sticking around this hotel even though they were dead to make sure that minimal price standards were being respected in the absence of any formal union around the block. Now, I had learned a great uh, lesson that day beyond how to jerk my ears off with a Q-tip. I have never after that first fetish session, charge less than $100 for that type of service because these French court girls, they had scared the shit out of me severely. <laughs> Whoops! I forgot about Mr. Clark. Your parents are probably about to come back from the corner store now with some exciting candies. So you know what you do? As soon as they come back, you send them right back out and do the pharmacy this time to get you a big bag of Q-tips so you can start putting into practice at least some of what you've learned from Auntie Genoux on this very exciting and fabulous program today. That's it for now. Bye.